virtual patching is a way of protecting your system by performing intrusion prevention detection at the network edge of the system where exploits will come in. The process for this is actually pretty similar to the traditional patching process, uh, but we'll go on to why uh, and how it works in a little bit more detail shortly. So for this to work, a vulnerability has to be identified. Again, this happens via the critical patch update releases from the vendor themselves and via uh, detection via trend systems uh, through their smart protection network. Um, once that happens, Trend will perform an analysis of that vulnerability to see whether or not it, um, if there is enough information about, around the vulnerability to provide a, uh, a reliable detection method. And also if the deep security system can protect against it. If it's a local exploit, for instance, deep security cannot protect against it because it is a network level detection and protection system. Where this happens, an intrusion prevention rule is created and we'll go into more detail on intrusion prevention rules themselves shortly. And that rule is delivered to the deep security systems as part of a weekly bundled update. Again, it, the weekly bundled update is the baseline where rules are for zero days and for other critical vulnerabilities. Those, are, those will actually get out of band updates, which will happen on a daily or even faster process for these. Uh, examples of this would be uh, WebLogic uh, deserialization exploit from last year and the uh, Adobe fonts uh, exploit that was very recently announced by Microsoft. So that rule is made available to the deep security management server as part of uh, as part of this deep security rule update. And the deep security management server will be set up to do regular recommendation scans on the uh, agents to be protected. A recommendation scan goes in, asks the agent what's running on the system, what ports are open and listening, and what software is looking at those ports with a few little bits of detail that gets sent over to the trend deep security management server which then looks it up against the database and looks at what rules are needed to be deployed at that point it will put, it will issue an alert saying recommendations have been made for this computer or this server and depending on how your system is set up they can either be automatically deployed onto the server or what we more traditionally do is we would deploy them into detection only mode, override them to make sure they can't cause any actual uh, downtime or disruption to the system, uh, while still providing a measure of protection. 